After 9-11, the amount of interest in Islam rose, leading to the exploration of one of the biggest faiths in the world. According to the LA Times, the first week after 9-11, bookstores nationwide were selling out of Qur'ans. For many explorers, this led to thoughts of conversion. According to Islam for Today, a site created by a former Christian to explain Islamic theology, reports that there are approximately 135,000 converts to Islam a year. One of these converts is Judy Bowes. And what really had me sold on the Quran is the scientific proof. Um, the fact that it wrote that the world was round before anyone else figured that out. Um, seven layers of the atmosphere are in the Quran. Um, just like the scientific points really kind of gave me the proof that I needed because I'm a, I'm, I can't, I wish I could just go on faith in life, but I can't, like I need that proof. And Islam gave me proof to believe it and also proof why there are some rules. For many, the appeal of Islam is a set structure and guidelines, a way to eat, pray, and live. Expert on religious growth at Penn State, Roger Finke explains. Uh, as more Muslims move into the urban areas, they're going to have more friendship patterns, more networks, and then those religions which have very strong commitments tend to be more attractive. They're, they are um, more zealous in promoting their own religion as well, too. So that's why at the very time in the United States you see more rapid growth from Jehovah Witnesses and Mormons, you see more rapid growth in the case of Islam as well, too. Professor Finke also states that the highest number of converts are African Americans. And although there are few and disputed statistics about the rate of conversion to Islam, Islam is the fastest growing religion in the U.S. and the world. For the Center Counter Report, this is Hiba Isa.